Hey friends, it's Timothy Curver here at Stolfus RV and Marines located in Westchester, Pennsylvania. Happy New Year to you. It is um, uh, January, the middle of January of 2023. Can you believe it? Um, yeah, we got a nice unit I wanted to tell you about. Um, not everybody has these monster trucks that they could tow a bunch of things with. This here is a new product that was just introduced at um, Hershey this past uh, year. Um, and it is a grand design product. It is the smallest thing that they make. It's on a single axle instead of on a dual axle. And it's called a Grand Design Imagine AIM, A-I-M. And that stands for Adventure in Motion. So these are just little tykes. This is the first one that came in. We also have one that coming in with a bunkhouse that's also going to be a single axle. And once that comes in, I'll make sure I do a video for it. Uh, for you on that unit. So let me spin this around and we'll do it. Um, so standing in the very front of it, we do have the standard things that um, Grand Design offers. Uh, this is a 220 LP tanks, a power jack and light. This is the floor plan on it. So it's called a 16 ML. Um, and it's like a 16 foot box. Um, as you can see down the side here, you have a power awning. Uh, you also have LED lights on the bottom there. Uh, you have your solid steps, which is a really great thing for if you're at your campground. Uh, you see these legs here, these will just adjust to the various ground levels. In the very front here, we do have the Grand Design magnetic um, holdup of all their uh, door contraptions. You also have aluminum construction. There's your power cord, and you also have a uh, water source hose right here for you, which connects on the back. Uh, so as you can see, the aluminum frame, the bones, still Grand Design. Um, you'll have your power jack like we talked about. We also have here uh, two t um, power sources for you. And this is for your portable water. So if you're going to travel and you need some water while you're traveling, you could easily fill that there. In each corner, you have four stabilizers. Back here is a little, this unfortunately is locked, uh, but I'm sure it's a little storage area. Uh, you have your Furion hot water system right there. There's even a ladder so you can access that roof for maintenance. It's also pre-wired for your backup camera. And it also has a little one inch receiver in the back too. So just something small can go back there. Uh, this is a 30 amp unit right there. That's where you connect um, all your hookups over there too. As you can see, there is a slide. So when we go in this thing, it is not going to have a slide open. But with that being said, if you stop someplace and you just want to crash for the night, you can get back in here and it's not going to obstruct any of your um, walking around capabilities. So when you walk into the unit, you do have a front corner bed. This is an RV queen, but look at that beautiful wallpaper selected. I love it. Um, you also have lights down there. There's your bedding for it. Plenty of storage across the top and all down the side. Uh, you have the storage there. You also have the hooks for hanging up things and the infamous shorting of the cabinet so you can have your CPAP machine. You could also have your charging devices put there too. So when you first walk in on the left, this is your kitchen area. Look at all that storage. Your TV, your entertainment. Um, in the corner, you do have a little two burner. I love it. It's awesome looking. Two propane burn stove top. Uh, this has your microwave with convection because you don't have an oven and the large storage area there. Plenty of counter space here. You also have your sink. Plenty of cabinet space even above the head. So directly across from that is your refrigerator. And this is your seating area. This is your slide. But look, it is slid in and you still have plenty of room. This goes flat. And this makes, I believe it goes from here, spins around like this. And you have another little sleeping area there. If you have small kids or something like that, it'll work perfectly fine. So we'll push this back around and it all hinges and it turns into a couch again. And then you also have two cup holders right there. You also have some drawer space on the bottom. So with this slid out, you're probably about what, 18 inches, 20 inches right there. You'll gain all that space there on the floor. As we go to this area, I was talking to you about the refrigerator freezer. This is a Norco 12 volt, and you have a large size freezer down on the bottom. And above it, you have more storage. And this is a very deep storage. That's every bit of like 27 to 30 inches. In the back here, okay, they did go a plastic toilet. It's okay, it's all about weight. Um, this keeps it light for you. Plenty of storage here. Nice stainless steel sink with um, the hook faucet. There once again is plenty of storage, a medicine cabinet. Let's see if this medicine cabinet, look at that's really deep. 
a lot of medicine. I also have hooks here. I'm in the bathroom. And over here's your shower. Beautifully pointed faucet selection. I really like this. Uh, and then you have the plastic squeegee also. And then you also have your shades to black out everything too. So, hey, if you're looking for something small, your truck can't handle very much, this just might be the unit for you. This is a 23 and it's available. It just came in from Grand Design. Um, I just thought it'd be really great to show you some of the really great things that are coming out um, down the line for the various manufacturers. Everybody's wanting to do mean and lean and small things it's starting to happen. So if this works well for you, like this video, share it, tell your friends all about it. Uh, give me a call. I'll give you my cell at 610-348-3050. Thanks for allowing me into your home and I'll make sure I keep making them videos for you. Thank you again. Bye-bye now.